Hi, my name is Zach Henderson here at Showcase Photo and Video in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm here today to talk to you guys about the Siconic Light Master 478D. Straight from Siconic, this is their first uh, ever touch color screen light meter. Uh, what you can do is, uh, this is your main screen, this is your uh, screen that typically you'll, you'll look at when you are looking for your uh, exposures. Uh, you've got your measure setting here, your measure button. You press that to get your reading. Then over on the right side over here we've got our memory button. What you would do with that, you'll press that to record the meter reading and then later if you'd like to you can click the button in the bottom right and go to memory recall and you can recall the reading that you've just got. What's nice about this feature is that you've got, uh, it automatically knows whether or not your lumosphere is out or recessed inwards. So it's telling me here that uh, the lumosphere was outward, stating that I'm going to be reading for a three-dimensional object. If you were then to want to meter for a two-dimensional object, you would rotate it to the right, and then that's going to recess the meter, or recess the lumosphere, and now you're going to be metering for a completely different sort of image. So you take that reading and it's going to be slightly different. So in the top left hand corner we're going to go to this uh, Sun logo and we've got all our different features in here that that are our priorities. So these on the left side are all of our ambient priorities. The first one being T for uh, time or shutter speed. You can set your shutter speed, your desired shutter speed, and again, this is a touch screen, so you can swipe up and down, or for more fine-tuned adjustments, you can tap, and that will then adjust minute details, like so. So once we've got everything set in, we, we will take our, press our measure button, and it will give us another reading. Just like that, we can also adjust ISO in the same way, swipe up, down, left, right, or up and down. We can go back over here. We have our shutter speed priority, aperture priority, and then we've got dual down here. We can sh set our shutter and our f-stop, and it'll give us an accurate ISO reading so that we can adjust that according, in, in if we want uh, a very specific time and shutter speed, or a time and uh, f-stop. On the right over here, we've got our flash settings. Our first flash setting will not require a cord what you'll do is you'll hit the measure button, and then for 90 seconds it will look for a flash. After that's over with, it'll read the flash that's popped off, and then it'll give you a reading. To go back up, and if you want to use a PC cord, and PC cord can be found at the bottom. Under that flap you can put your PC cord right in there. Go down to the PC cord, and then once it's in there, once you pop the measure reading, it should pop the flash accordingly. Now this is the 478D version, there's also a 478DR, and on that version the only difference is that there's a radio feature that's not in this particular model. In the DR model you'll see different features down here regarding that radio system. That's compatible with Pocket Wizard, TT5, and Flex5 systems. By hitting the menu button in the bottom middle we've got a long list of options that we can go through very customizable. You can set specific profiles, you can even adjust the color of the layout. Again, it's a very simple unit to use, but if you want to get more in-depth with it, you can certainly do that. Lots of advanced features. It also comes with a, or doesn't come with sold separately, is a piece that allows for uh, spot meter readings, so you can be really accurate. You're not just focused on uh, incident readings, you can use spot meter readings. So. That's kind of the Siconic L478D. It's really exciting, really brand new, um, interesting meter to use, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys here. Thanks very much.